One crescendo. Target absolutely acquired over here in the Red Alliance Autonomous. One, two, three speaker notes scored so far, and we're back at it for more, although most of them missing from both Stormbots and Aimbot. Even independently, they don't miss many notes. Surprising to have both of them bouncing back, feeding back too much gain on the amplifier for all you audio nerds out there, but that's all right. Blue Alliance takes a very slight lead coming at auto. 34 to what was 31. Drivers now take controls, and the amp and speakers on both sides already bracing for a structural integrity test. There's Stormbots, two points in the upper speaker. Aimbot now for the one pointer on the side of the field. Amplification bonus ready. Stormbots rolling in. Thunderous, not note. Note bounces back. Aimbot manages to get that two-pointer. It turns into a five-pointer, actually, thanks to the human player hitting that amplification bonus button. And then Stormbot's note will feed right back at them once again. They only have a nine-point lead here, folks. The Blue Alliance, no slouch on the scoring efforts either. You have the undefeated Issaquah Robotics Society over here on Blue. They're scooping up a note that is now a bit oblong in shape, but that's okay. They launch it right up into that speaker from the right side of the subwoofer, and it connects for two points of Alliance score. Their partners, Mabton Lugnuts, Bit of a different story this week on the leaderboard than last. Last week, they were an Alliance captain at Auburn. This week, ranked 26, but they're still putting up some points over here on the Blue Alliance side of the field and making some opportunities for their Alliance partners. There's the Cyborgs out of Pullman, 4061 machine. Kind of bank shot, pinballing it in, but they do manage to connect for two points of Alliance score over there on Blue. The Alliance now trails by 14. Make that 12. Make that scores bouncing all around. Across these two alliances, it's not going to be over until it is all the way over here in match number 43. 30 seconds until that point. Here's Stormbots rolling in one-pointer amp. It's good. And now that's the second stack light. They've got one more amplification bonus in them, folks, and 20 seconds to make it happen. They and Aimbot are back at their alliance wall. Aimbot rolling in, lines up with the subwoofer. Amplification bonus activated. They pick up the five-pointer. Stormbots now looking to get their guaranteed five-pointer if they can get that note into the trap. No need to even launch anything, but it has to make it into the trap. Three seconds, it's good. They're also up on stage for three. Alliance partners on stage for three more. That's Aimbot, but a double three-point endgame also on blue, making sure the margins stay ultra close. The live score is separated by 17 points. Your final score coming soon to a display board near you.
Folks, before we can announce the results of qualification match 43, we do have a card to issue. Head referee has issued a yellow card to Red Alliance Team 8532 for damaging contact inside the frame perimeter of a Blue Alliance robot. With that said, our scores are in for qualification match number 43. After a mandatory comment, you have to write into the FMS. takes home that match. 91 points to the Blue Alliance is 74, and that's going to be a clean sweep of all four available rank points there. Still the Melody bonus rank point getting picked up there by each Blue Alliance team. And thus, the Stormbots will defend their number one rank position against that number two ranked IRS, who will also retain their number two rank position. And 